So you can see here. Hello. I have a painted. Well, I don't have a painted print. I have a print here on the canvas, um, which I've just picked up, and I'm going to turn her into a painted print. So I will stretch her onto the canvas. Um, sorry, stretch her onto the stretcher bars, um, and then cover her in gesso and paint on her to give her te texture and then go over all of the ink with some Chinese ink to make it really pop. So, um, and that's basically the, my painted print process when it comes to these ballerinas. <laughs> with the painted print where I stretch onto the canvas here and I say canvas because if you like all of my painted prints are prints, uh, double skin so um, they have a more of a quality feel to them not so see-through because they're stretched onto an existing canvas already rather than just the frame so here we go <laughs> From the Dancing Through Life series, she is now stretched onto her canvas, I'm happy to say, onto the stretcher bars. Um, the next stage is, uh, there you are. The next stage is adding some texture to make it a painted print and popping the Chinese ink uh, onto the black lines to make it really pop. And then I'll sign and varnish her. See you later. So I just have to put some gesso on to the painted print you can see in the background, um, which gives it a really good base to add the texture to. Time to add the texture. Just by adding the white paint, you can just see brush marks, white on white, it's not exactly white this white on the print, so it will add some beautiful texture. Hi there, the next stage on the painted print process is to go over all of the original ink lines and refresh it all with some Chinese ink or long tradition because it's bought in France. So I'll pour this into my little pot. I've got my very fine nib brush and I'm now just going to make all the lines come out and, and refresh them all and there will be original marks um, because nothing's ever exactly the same. Um, not the final stage, sorry, after that will be varnish, signing and varnishing obviously. So here we go. There she is, with all the Chinese ink on her now, um, and an original in her own right. Obviously she is a print, it's a painted print, that's the whole point. Um, so semi-original artwork, more affordable than um, an outright original, obviously. Um, so yeah, I do, I do these on my website, you just have to click on the link and go to painted prints and this is what you get obviously i sign and varnish her and um, when there's an artwork that's got more paint in it obviously there's more um paint that goes on top of the print so i'll see you soon hi there 
so I'm on to the final stage of the painted print. You've seen me cut her out of the canvas, stretch her onto the stretcher bars, gesso her, add the white paint, redo the Chinese ink. Um, now I'm going to varnish her and that's it. Obviously I'll put the screw eyes in the back so she's easy to hang and that's what you get with a painted print. So I'm really happy to share this with you. This is, this is the process for um, my ink painted prints, obviously. With the other painted prints, I had more paint because there's more paint on the print. Um, well, not more paint on the print, there's more paint in the original painting. Um, so I had more texture and I had uh, medium texture, the same, that goes the same way as the brush strokes to, to bring out some of the originality. All right, so here she is going to be varnished now, and thanks for watching. Bye.